Hello, everyone. I'll give everyone a few minutes to join in. Thank y'all so much for coming back to uh, Club on the Go Facebook Live. My name is Miss J. You should know me by now. And I'm so excited. Today is Wellness Wednesday, and I have something really exciting planned for you all. Um, we are going to get up on our feet and do a little bit of exercising. But before that, we're going to plan out our workout routine first. Um, all you'll need today, of course, is a bottle of water. And I'll go over the rest of the supplies later on in the live. As always, please make sure that you have your parent or guardian's permission to be on Facebook Live with us. We want to make sure everyone is being as safe as possible. Also, um, if you are a member, a club member at one of our sites, we want to give you a shout out and recognize you. So let us know where you're from, um, what school you're from, and it, with your parents' permission, you can share your name as well. Um, if you're not from Baton Rouge, please let us know what city or state you're from. We want to acknowledge you and thank you so much for being on live with us. Um, shout out to Miss Jan from Bel Air. Thank you for tuning in with us. Um, so before we get started, I'll go over our usual safety tips. So as always, you want to make sure that you're washing your hands for at least 20 seconds to make sure that you're cleaning all those germs off and getting your hands squeaky clean. Um, if you've been sneezing or coughing in your elbow, you may want to take it up a little bit to ensure that you're getting all that surface area and cleaning everything um, away. Also, um, if you don't have access to that, you can use hand sanitizer, but um, as soon as you can, you can definitely go ahead and wash those hands with soap and water. Thank y'all for all of the love. Thank y'all for coming in. Um, the next thing, speaking of our elbows, if we cough, we want to make sure that we do it in our arm or sneeze as well. Um, you don't want to do it on your hands because we touch so many different things with our hands and that's the easiest way to spread germs. So if you have to do it, do it in your arm and again, clean those, clean that area. Um, next, we want to make sure that we don't touch our face, um, touching your eyes, nose and mouth. Easiest way for germs to get into your body um, and we don't want that to happen. Also, if you are in public, you may have seen um, tape or stickers on the ground. You want to make sure that you're social distancing. So stay um, in public spaces, stay at least six feet away from others um, and make sure that you're just keeping that space and being mindful of what you're doing. And last but not least, if you feel sick or you don't feel well, as always, just tell an adult just to be sure. Um, as we mentioned, it's allergy season and there's so many other things going on. So we want to make sure that our club members are as safe and as healthy as possible. I see we have University Terrace here, site coordinator and team. Thank y'all so much for joining in. So let's get started for Wellness Wednesday. Um, and as, as we've mentioned before, Wellness Wednesday is a part of our triple play program, which focuses on mind, body, and soul. Um, and today we are going to definitely focus on the body element of it. So I'm going to bring y'all in a little bit closer and we'll go over the supplies that we need. mentioned before um, you don't need very many supplies for this activity what I have here um, like I said earlier we'll be doing a little bit of working out so I have my water bottle um, if you need a towel for sweating you can go ahead and grab that and also make sure you have on athletic um, gear so I have on a t-shirt workout pants and tennis shoes um, as always before you do any sort of physical activity you know check with your parent or guardian um, and have them check with your um, PCP, your physician, to make sure that it's okay, you know, for you to work out and get moving. And if so, this is a great way, you know, to get outdoors. You can do these workouts inside as well. So, I also have paper. Now, I am using um, a construction paper, but you can also use cardstock. You can use printer paper. Um, you can recycle a brown paper bag if you have a few of those lying around. You can use just about anything. The next thing that you will need is a writing utensil. So I have a marker because I want to make sure 
that it shows up. But I also have some crayons here so that I can decorate my cut my sheet and give it a little bit of color. So I think I'm going to use my light blue. And what we are going to do is create exercises using the alphabet. And this is really neat because once we have our full alphabet laid out, we can um, spell our name and do an exercise. You can spell your pet's name, your parent or guardian's name, your school's name, anything. So let's get started. So first we are going to put workout alphabet at the very top. That will be the name of our sheet. Workout alphabet. So this is what I have here at the top. And I think I'm going to decorate it. Maybe I'll draw um, a weight on the end, a dumbbell. So here I have my workout alphabet at the top and I have um, my dumbbells and a basketball because basketball is really popular right now. I see we have uh, Miss Tiberia from Buchanan. Thank you for tuning in. So now we are going to start with our alphabet. So let's do our alphabet um, on both sides, just the letters right now. And I'll get started and then I'll show you all an example of what my page looks like. Who can tell me how many letters there are in the alphabet? Okay, so this is what my sheet looks like. That's correct, there are 26 letters in the alphabet. So now we are going to assign each letter um, a workout activity. So for example, let's make the letter A five jumping jacks. And if you have any ideas or suggestions of what the rest of the letters can be, please share them. Um, no workout alphabet will, no two will be alike. So everyone will have different things. Um, they'll all be a little bit unique to ourselves and you know what we're able to do. So you may have, um, you can jump up and down on the sidewalk or you can run from one, one door to another door. There are different things that you can do. So let's see, what should we do for B? How about for B, let's do five squats. Okay, we have Mr. Charles from Winburn. Hi, thank you for checking in. And he suggests 25 crunches for C. How about for D, let's do five push-ups, or no, ten push-ups. And you can change the, the number, um, you know, as you work yourself up. You know, if you're not great with push-ups, you can start with two or five. 
and just work your way up. It doesn't have to be the same number and you can make a new sheet or challenge yourself differently every week. So for E, how about we do, hmm, hop like a frog eight times. See who here can do a cartwheel. How about we do for S three cartwheels? Let's see, do we have any other suggestions? Let's see, for G, let's do 10 arm circles. So these are arm circles. Okay, let's see, for H, how about we do 10 jumping jacks? For I, let's do 10 bicep curls on your right arm. It seems like we're putting together a pretty good workout, huh? And for J, let's switch it up to do those 10 bicep curls on the left arm. Um, K, how about we take a 30 second break for K? See if we have any more suggestions. Let's see for L, lunges. That's a great idea. So for L, let's do five lunges forward and then five lunges back. So that'd be 10 in total. Let's see, for M, let's do 20 toe touches. So we're just bending down to touch our toes 20 times. How is y'all y'all's alphabet coming? Does anyone have anything unique in their alphabet that I may have not added yet? For N, let's do Hmm, let's do five burpees. Oh, how about we run in place for 15 seconds? Let's throw in the five squats again. So if you need to catch up, this is what I have so far. I've switched my color. So we have just a few letters left. Let's 
see, I think I'll switch my color this time to a red, red orange. Okay, for a cue, let's do 10 crunches. We have a suggestion uh, from Morgan to do the duck walk exercise. I don't think I've seen that one before. I'll have to look it up, but we can definitely do that for R. Morgan, would you mind explaining to us what that is? And let's see, so we're down to S. Does anyone else have any suggestions? Let's see. Pre how about we do um, pretend to jump rope for 20 seconds? And if you have a real jump rope, you can definitely use that as well. Okay, for T, let's do one cartwheel. For U, let's do five push-ups. Miss Katie has a suggestion for sit-ups, okay. Let's do 10, 10 sit-ups for B. Okay, let's have another 30 second break for W. Okay, you guys, we have three more letters left. Let's make it count. For X, how about we do our favorite dance move for 15 seconds? Oh, wow, Mr. Charles says that he's doing the workouts as we add to the chart. Awesome. For why, that reminds me of yoga. So how about we do three deep breath stretches for why? And for Z, what do y'all think? We started with jumping jacks, so how about we end with jumping jacks? Let's do five jumping jacks for Z. All right, we are finished with our workout alphabet. So let's go over. I'll read everything to you all that I have. Again, if there's something that I don't have that you all have please share and let me know i'd love to um, hear about it so for a we have five jumping jacks for b we have five squats c 25 crunches d 10 push-ups e hop like a frog eight times f cartwheel g three cartwheels sorry for f g 10 arm circles, H, 10 jumping jacks, I, 
10 bicep curls on your right arm, J, 10 bicep curls on your left arm, K, a 30 second break, L, 10 lunges, M, 10 toe touches, 20 toe touches, sorry, N, 5 burpees, O, run in place for 15 seconds, P, 5 squats, Q, 10 crunches, R, we have the duck walk exercise from Miss Morgan. However, let's see if we don't know what that is. How about we do a bear crawl for, let's do 10 bear crawls just in case. Okay, S, we have jump rope for 20 seconds. T, one cartwheel. U, five push-ups. V, 10 sit-ups. W, 30 second break. X, your favorite dance move for 15 seconds. Y, three deep breath stretches. And Z, five jumping jacks. Does everyone have that or have something like that? So how about we do a simple workout just to test it out. And again, you can spell anything with these. But how about we spell out boys girls and who can guess the last word? Club. Okay, so we are going to spell these out. I hope that you are ready and that you have your workout attire on and also your bottle of water as well. So I'm going to rearrange it so that we can get started. So I hope that you all are ready to get started. I've got my water bottle here just in case. And we will do, if necessary, um, you can always do a breather or catch your breath. Or just go at your own pace. You don't have to go at the speed as anyone else. It's not a competition. It's all about making sure that we are keeping our body healthy and staying active, okay? So first we are going to spell boys. Looking at our workout sheet here, B is five squats, O is run in place for 15 seconds, Y is three deep breath stretches, and S is jump rope for 20 seconds. So let's get started. B, we have five squats. Great job. O, running place for 15 seconds. Great job. Y, three deep breath stretches.
Alrighty. S. Jump rope for 20 seconds. If you don't have a jump rope, that's okay. You can just jump and move your arms like this and pretend that you're jump roping. Hopefully by now, your body's feeling warm and you're feeling the workout. Again, if you need water, drink some of your water and just pace yourself. So next, we're going to spell girls. So that's 10 arm circles, 10 bicep curls on our right arm. And you can do both if you realize you won't have I and J in the same word. Um, 10 bear crawls, 10 lunges, and 10 more jump ropes. So let's get started. 10 arm circles. Alrighty. So eyes, 10 bicep curls in your right arm. However, we don't have uh, J in this letter, so we can do both. We can modify it and change it up however we need. So let's get started. If you have canned goods at home or if you have water bottles, um, you can definitely use that as a weight. But of course, ask your parents permission for that first to make sure that you're not overexerting yourself or using anything too heavy. Great job. So R is 10 bear crawls. So a bear crawl, imagine that you are a bear and that you're running through the woods um, and just hanging out and playing. So we are going to go down on all fours like this and move forward five times and back five times. Let's go. lower body and upper body workout there. L, we've got 10 lunges. So we want to do five forward and five going back. Jump rope for 20 seconds. Let's go. How are y'all feeling? Good? So, now we have one more word left. are going to spell club. So that's 25 crunches, 10 lunges, 5 push-ups, and 5 squats. Let's go. Last word, make it count. And also, so if you can't do 25 crunches, don't push yourself. Do whatever you feel comfortable doing with your body.
let's see what's next. We have 10 lunges again, forward and backwards. So I'll show you what you can do if you don't have the space. So if you can't go forward and backwards, you can just stay in one spot and alternate legs. We have a comment here. Yes, Miss Jam, burpees are a great way to do get a full body workout. That's correct. So next we have you, which is five push-ups. Now you can do full push-ups or you can do modified push-ups, whatever you're comfortable with. B, we've got five squats. This is your last thing, so make it count. Woo! And for our last thing, let's take our right arm, bring it over, and give ourselves a pat on the back. We just completed the alphabet workout spelling boys, girls, and club. So on your own, remember, you can spell your own name, you can spell your parents' name, your animal's name, literally anything, or you can do the alphabet all the way through, whatever you feel comfortable. And for some of these workouts, like the push-ups, the squats, things like that, make sure that you're following proper form. And as Miss Jan says in the comments, Remember to keep breathing. Remember to pace yourself. So if you need water, have that. Um, remember to, you know, wipe yourself down. Get some fresh air if you need to. You don't want to overexert yourself. It's not a competition. It's all of us working together to ensure that we are staying healthy, staying fit, and most importantly, staying active. So I want to thank y'all so much for tuning in with us today. I definitely got a great workout. I can feel a few sweat beads coming down. And I'm going to continue it. I think I'll try try to spell a few more things like my name. So if you created one that's different from ours, definitely share it. Um, or if you did one and you want to show us do, you, you doing your workout, send us a video, tag us using the club on the go, C-O-U-B-O-N-T-H-E-G-A-U-X hashtag, and we will definitely check you out, post you, share you on our page. Um, also, remember we have our Goose Chase going on right now, which is our scavenger hunt. You can download the Goose Chase app um, and you'll be able to see all the different things that we have available. Of course, the winners will get um, a swag bag from us, so that's really cool. A lot of great things in there. Um, and you will also get posted on our page, so that's really awesome as well. Um, and speaking of bags, we are um, having another bag delivery soon so definitely be on the lookout for that you know we want to make sure that we are reaching our members in the best way and bringing the club experience home to you so thank y'all again for uh, being here shout out to everyone that's in the comments thank y'all so much and i can't wait to see y'all tomorrow bye